Alright guys, uh, Peter here with an episode 2 of the BMW. Uh, in the last episode we managed to get it started pretty easily and uh, then we heard a little knock. I drove this thing around the property a bit and uh, then the knock went away. We found a little uh, can like uh, EVAP can or homemade EVAP can on the top of the head. Uh, we look at uh, the camshafts, everything seems to be fine. Uh, but uh, for the peace of my mind, I want to uh, take a look inside of the engine. So uh, let's get started on dismantling that engine. So we will have to deal with uh, three main things. Uh, one being the carburetors. Uh, the exhaust cooling system and then the uh, engine itself. So uh, I will probably set you on a time lapse and uh, let's get uh, started with uh, this teardown process. Okay, so as usual uh, during the process, I uh, changed my mind. I usually uh, was planning to dismantle the top end inside the frame, but uh, this engine is held on with just um, one bolt uh, through uh, the uh, swing arm, one bolt up front and three bolts at the rear uh, of the subframe here. Uh, so I, uh, I'm gonna drop the whole engine out and work on it outside, uh, that way it will be uh, much easier. And I want to uh, stop for a second and take a look at this uh, drain plug. This is a magnetic drain plug and uh, although there is some on it, uh, there is not much. Uh, there is one bigger chunk, I don't know if you can see that, but that's it, uh, then just the small shavings from uh, the transmission and something like that, so um, I don't think we will see a carnage on the crankshaft, but we'll see, let's proceed with uh, the engine uh, removal and I will tune back in when the engine will be out. Right, so the engine is out, um, so let's take a look inside and see what's hiding uh, inside. The uh, valve cover. We had the valve cover already off last uh, two days, so there shouldn't be any surprises there. Yeah, everything still looks the same as we left it. So now let's rotate the engine uh, so it stopped at center and uh, let's uh, pull the timing. So there is another uh, look at the valve train here, the cam looks pristine, here this little tab is your automatic decompressor, uh, what that does is as the engine spins uh, this weight is sucked in closer to the cam so it's not engaged and when the engine is not spinning fast enough this little lock protrudes down and open up uh, the exhaust valves a little bit to um, make it easier for the starter to kick over. So let's um, pull the plugs 
rotate it uh, and uh, take off the timing chain, timing wheels, then the head. So here is the look without the camshaft. Uh, we have one bolt here, here, here and here. These four or five uh, bolts. Then we have two little five millimeter elements down at the bottom and this head and jack uh, should slide out. Uh, the cams and the cam uh, bearings looks fine, nothing extraordinary here. Alright, so I have the half of the engine out, the top end is off and the crankshaft is solid. There is no play in it, uh, the piston looks good. We can see that at one time the uh, exhaust valve, the one with uh, the the compression might have hit the piston or this, this uh, is how the piston came out of the factory be just because of the decompression valve. So and the crankshaft is good, no play in it whatsoever. So I don't know why the last owner told us that the crankshaft is gone because the crankshaft is fine. So I ruined a perfectly good engine right now. That sucks.
guys, you prob probably cannot see that from uh, the time lapse, but I screwed up. Um, as we were uh, lowering the cylinder down, uh, I pushed uh, probably too hard on this oil ring and it broke. Uh, that means we cannot get this engine back together. We uh, spent uh, the money for uh, this base gasket, but unfortunately I did screw up and uh, we all make mistakes, somebody more often than the others, but uh, hey, it is what it is. Uh, I did screw up, so uh, the new ring set for this bike is around uh, 200 bucks, and this engine is worth about 300, so uh, it's not worth putting uh, the new uh, rings, uh, ring set into this engine. Um, also, as you can see, the one of the tooth uh, on the gearbox is chipped uh, and um, those uh, crank um, bearings are not the best in the world. So, uh, unfortunately, that's the end of the BMW 650. And with that, I'm sorry I have to end this uh, BMW series with a fail, but hey, it is what it is. I ruined a perfectly good uh, BMW engine. Yeah, you can point at me, only at me. So, if you enjoyed this uh, video and you want to see more, particularly the Suzuki behind me, uh, give this video a like, subscribe, uh, share, comment, whatever helps the channel to grow. And uh, I will see you with that Suzuki.